Where jobs really come in handy is with the invoke command commandlet. Uh, if you've got a, a, an invoke command that's going to be running against a hundred or a thousand or more remote machines, waiting for that to happen synchronously, in other words, just staring at the shell like watching paint dry, not so much fun. However, with the as job parameter right there, you can make all that happen in the background and you can even give it a job name so that you can kind of remember which job went with which, you know, whatever task you were trying to complete. So we'll just do invoke command and let's specify a remote computer. I'm just going to do one so this kind of runs quickly and we are going to give it the script block. Uh, we'll say get event log and the log name will be security and we will grab the newest 200. Now that might normally take a a few moments for that to come across the network. I don't want to sit and wait though. We're just going to name it as job and give it a job name called security log. Immediately we get the shell back and I can start working on other stuff. Job ID number one has been created. It's named security log. I can come back later and check the job. Look, it's finished. And then receive the job from the name security log. And I get all the results out of it. So I can choose to work with them at my leisure. It's a really, really effective way of doing things. Now, I'll tell you something else that's really, really cool is using this with get WMI object. If you remember, when you work with get WMI object, if you say, uh, let's get let's get a fairly big class. Uh, 132 process can take a while to return. And if you give that several different computer names, I'll just use two, that can take a long time to complete simply because WMI has got to contact each computer one at a time. But you can make this a lot faster for yourself by running that under invoke command. So I'm just going to make that get WMI object my script block. I'm going to let invoke command take the computer names and I'm going to have it run it as a job. Now I just kick back and relax. I don't have to do anything except periodically come back, run get job to see if they've completed. It turns out that one has completed and it's ready for me to receive the data.